Okay, so, um, a couple videos ago, someone asked me to do my full industrial bar collection. But before I get into that, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you've never, if you're new here, subscribe first of all. If you're already subscribed to my channel, then welcome back. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I posted my entire belly ring collection. Maybe that was last week. I don't even know when I posted that. But this is my entire industrial bar collection. Um, if you don't know what an industrial bar is, well, it's this little bar right, or this long bar right here at the fold over the ear. Um, mine is like really weird though because I have a weird keloid bone growing up here that I need to take care of still. But I have roughly 10 or 11 industrial bars. I usually just stick to my traditional short basic silver 14 gauge bar uh, barbell. I don't really change it that much because it like I said has a keloid bump up there and it gets irritated easily. I might just have to put a longer bar in for a little while until that goes away. Till then here's this video and then I'll probably just leave a longer bar in at the end of it. So I'm just gonna really quick put my industrial barbells together because I don't really don't know exactly how many I have. Two of them are the exact same. I guess I'll start off with these ones. This is a white flexi bar. I have two of them. Um, they speak for their name. They're just bendable, flexible, whatever. Um, the only reason I don't really find myself wearing these is because they're long and I don't really like long industrial bars, but I don't really know why I bought these. I'm gonna try to remember where I bought all of these industrial bars as I just lost a ball. <laughs> just lost the same ball twice in a row. Like a 99% chance that most, if not all of them, are from uh spencer's or hot topic this short one i believe is from spencer's um i actually bought some of these well or my break at work one day <laughs> um when i used to work at bath and body works when i used to work at bath and body works we'd get like a 15 or 30 minute lunch break or meal break and i wouldn't always eat so i would usually just go out and go to like Spencer's or I would go to Target and just grab snacks but the one time I know I went to Spencer's and bought new industrial bars I think it was because I lost a ball on one of the ends so I took my lunch break to go buy new ones in between uh, changing them I'm gonna spray them with my this it's a uh, my hair is on it it is a sea salt solution I made at home. So these ones I can change out because, or this I can change out because it's easier for me to get the ball off of. By the way, I finally got the ball off of my belly ring and I ended up changing it to the snowball looking one. Some of the bars still hurt to put in and out of my ear. So I'm just gonna change this off camera. I hope my rook piercing is clean. If not, I am very sorry. Um, this is my white Flexi bar 14 gauge industrial bar. Like I said, I bought this at in a two pack at um, Spencer's. I don't remember how much they were, <laughs> but I think I got them during a sale, so I can't imagine they were that much. Plus, a flexi bar I can't imagine costs a whole lot of money anyway. Sometimes they're better for people to wear. For me, I just really hate them, so I don't ever find myself wearing them. Like I said, I don't know why I bought this because I don't like it. I think in the time I thought it was just really cool to have a flexible industrial bar. What I really, really, really want, and I can't seem to find them anywhere, um, unless I'm just not looking in the right places, the ball is not going back on this now. I really want an acrylic industrial bar, like, like a neon one, if that makes sense. And I don't see them anywhere. The only acrylic industrial bars I can find are like clear ones for when you have to you know, kind of hide it, but not really. So the next one I have, I don't know where I got this. I have no idea where I got this one, but like one of the ends isn't, they're not symmetrical. Like when I do it this way, this one's loose. When I tighten it all the way, it looks like that. So I think that's why I never wear this one. And also it gets stuck in my hair so easily. But this, I actually just remembered I got in an, pack that I bought on Amazon a few weeks ago or a couple months ago 
Um, again, this one's too long for my ear and I really hope this isn't framed correctly. This one's too long for my ear and also the ends get stuck in my hair and they don't, they're not symmetrical with each other so it just bothers me a lot. I hate changing my industrial bar because it like still hurts sometimes. I've had my industrial bar pierced for almost two years. I got it done right before I turned 19 and I'm turning 21 next month. Also in that collection that I bought or the little pack that I bought on the Amazon is this one right here. This has just like a little, you know, decoration and wiring on it. I also have another one like this without this little decoration but has the little wiring on it. I'm probably not going to put that in because you can get the same idea. This one just has a little doodad on it. Um, this one is really like weird to put in. I cannot get the balls off of this one. I don't know why. Even with my pliers. It's like not budging. Irking my soul now. I also got chocolate while I was getting my other pliers. Got it. So this one's weird because I'm going to have to put it on from the inside. Okay, I can't get this one in. <laughs> got it on in whatever but flaw found because i also have my rook pierced so um yeah i can't get the top ball on but this is the general idea of it um this thing is huge and also knocks into my rook piercing so i just i've never worn this one and i probably never will either because it's just not it doesn't work for my ear my ear is so irritated from putting this in so i have to take it out like immediately it hurts. It hurts. I hate this one. Oh my gosh, I don't really like it at all. I mean, I'm sure it works for other people, just not me. I think I don't have the right anatomy for the... Oh gosh. I think I don't have the right anatomy for an industrial bar, but the peers are never said I couldn't, so I think that's why my industrial bar still gets irritated, or maybe it might be because when I'm sleeping, I probably lay on it. So, you know, when you're sleeping, you can't control what side you lay on. You can't control that. Another one from that pack that I got is this little, actually it's a long bar. Uh, it has three opals in the middle of it. Um, kind of the same thing, has to be put on from both ways. Okay, so this is why I never wear this one either, because I physically cannot get it in all the way. <laughs> like, there's no way I can get it in. So... I don't know, I might have to like give this away or just never wear it. I don't know who wants it, but I can't wear this one because I physically cannot get it on my ear and it's a shame because it's really, really, really cute. I'm sure it's for someone who has like a longer one, like that maybe, but not me. And it is really, really pretty. If it was the right size for my ear, I would definitely be wearing it. Or at least if the beads were like, or the accent part was removable and movable, then I would definitely wear it. So another one I got in that pack is this bow and arrow one. This one I think I did wear once and I just, it wasn't working for me. So see, this is why I only wear like the very basic small short industrial bar because nothing else ever works for me. All right, so I can't get the little charm thing on. So you're just gonna have to deal without it. It is pretty, but I can't, oh, you know what, I'm gonna try. It's, it ain't working. I can't get that one on. So as you guys can tell, my industrial bar is like really irritated now. So um, this is probably gonna be the last one that I physically put in to show you guys. The rest I'm just gonna show you because there aren't that many more, but my industrial bar is just super irritated from changing it out. So this is gonna be the last one I show you in my ear. I'm sorry. So it's just a bow and arrow one. Um, I wore this a couple times. It's supposed to have this little charm thing going on in the middle, but I can't seem to get this on. So it's just use your imagination. It has like a little charm right there. It is really pretty. I do like it. Um, but like I said, it's just, I don't like the long bars. I really don't. I could always put it on a shorter bar, but the tail end like this little part I can't get off of this bar so it's stuck on there now um, okay I also have this really pretty royal blue industrial bar I think that is so pretty it has a little charm on it uh, flower I've worn this a couple times um, not 
for too too long because wait I have a starfish one. Oh my gosh I found it so I have this little guy right here I don't have the ends on it right now but it's just this really pretty um I can't tell but it's like all different greens and oranges in it and it's a starfish that I wore when I was in Florida and I just remembered I had it um but yeah this is the other only the only other one that has a charm on it I can't really wear ones that have charms on them just because they dig in and they hurt way too bad and I just I can't I cannot be bothered I cannot be bothered <sighs> okay so my I ran out of storage so I just put a longer bar in my ear I just want you guys to see the difference right now so this is my left ear it's so you know my normal skin tone not irritated at all and this is my ear because I just messed with my industrial bar so much um it is so irritated I can't there I'm not I can't put any I can't switch it out anymore tonight so I'm just gonna show you guys the last three that I have I know I think there was a fourth one maybe it was another silver one that came in this pack I don't really remember but these are the last three they all came in the same pack they're uh green purple and black um they're also really long ones I don't really wear them um I usually wear them around like holidays like I'll wear the purple one during Halloween and stuff um, but they're not like ones that I leave in on a normal basis that I believe was my entire industrial bar collection they're not too crazy I don't have as many industrial bars as I do like belly rings and any other jewelry that I have so that was it for my industrial bar collection I also have a range of just random sized silver bars, but they're just replacements and extras that I own. Um, thank you for so much for watching my channel. Thank you for watching this video, I guess. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on. If there's any other piercing related video you want me to, you want to see, you want me to do, I will definitely do it. I might be doing a vertical trace piercing soon. I don't know 100%. I haven't completely made up my mind because it is very likely to reject and I just don't know if I can be, I just, ugh, I can't be bothered with that right now. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what I plan on doing or what I decide to do in the end. Oh my gosh, my septum itches. Well. Follow me on social media. My TikTok and Instagram are both at Victoria Anthony MUA. And that is it, I think. Thank you. Bye.